Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can control your inventory with a gamepad or a keyboard. So let's go. First of all let's open up the item slot because I add up a new border as you can see called select border. Be sure that is a variable. It is right above the thumbnail here and we can choose a color later so that we can see which item slot is selected. So let's keep everything to zero right now. Compile and save this. So let's open up our inventory, go to the graph, and we need a new function here. Let's call this key item change. Key item change gets one input. This will be the change index, of course, as an integer. Next, we take out the move case, the grid the storage grid and the select item index. We need this later to switch around between the inventory and the storage. First of all, we go from the move case and say switch on integer. We add a pin for 0, 1 and 2. So this is for the inventory, the storage and the hotbar. Now we go from the grid and say get all children as well for the storage grid here like this one. Then we get the length as well for the storage one here. Then we pull this out a little bit, go from the change item index and say integer plus integer and connect the select item index. From the return value we say in range integer. Of course this is the max value and we say it is not including the max value as well for the other part down here. This is the value, this is the max value, and we keep it like this one. Of course, we need two branches to ask, like that. This is for zero, this is for one. Then again, we go from the grid and say get child at, and connect the select item index, as well for the storage, like that. And then we want to cast to our item slot. On true, we want to cast like that. And then we take out our new border, so the get select border here. We want to set the brush color to nothing because we want to unselect the current item. like that. Now we can just copy and paste this part back to here, like that. We will connect the grid again with the get child at as well as the grid storage here. But now we need to get the return value of the change item index plus the select item index and put it to the index of the second get child at. Great. And now we can choose a color that a select item should have. Of course, we can just select if you want these yellow here, we can just copy and paste this down here. Great. And at the end, we just set the select item index in both situations of course, again to the return value of the change item index plus the select item index. So we have a new select item index. Next, we want to create some key bindings for our inventory. For this, let's go to the third person character because we need to change the open inventory function. We can delete the part above here as well as the branch. We want to cast to our instance here, then of course we still get the inventory and update it. We can delete this part as well. After the update inventory, we want to set the user focus to the widget. Of course, we have to connect the get player controller as well. And after this, we go from the widget and call our key item change function so that we select our first item slot inside our inventory. 
then we want to set the visibility to visible and still want to set the inventory open boolean to true. Compile and save this so we can close this as well and go back to our inventory. Here we go to the functions override and on key down. Inside here we can create some key bindings. So we go from the in key event, get the key, go from the return value and say equal. So now we can compare it with every key that we want. So let's start up of course with the i key to close the inventory again. So we need the branch to ask. Then we take out our inventory box as well as the inventory text and want to set the visibility to hidden again for both of these on true. We want to set the focus to the game viewport. Then we get our player character. We cast to the third person character in this case here. We want to set the inventory open boolean to false again and then we go to the return node. From here we need them handled and connected. For the next key bindings we just copy and paste this down here. Let's do this for W A S and D connected. Now we need a branch for every key here. We go of course from false every time. We check if the key is pressed like that. On true of W we call the key item change like this one and we set it to minus six. And we do this as well for every key. So connect the A, the S and the D. This one is minus one, this is six and this is one. And we connect everything with the return node. The last part is when we open a chest we want to switch to the chest with tab. So let's go back to our inventory, create another key binding here. This time we want to select the tab here. Just for example of course we can choose whatever you want. Then we need another branch on false here. This is the condition of course. For this we take out the storage itself the move case, the grid, the storage grid and the select item index. From the storage we say is valid with a question mark. From the move case we say equal to zero and a branch to ask. From the grid we want to get the child at with the select item index as well for the storage grid. Then we cast to the item slot on true as well on false. Above here for the grid, down here for the storage grid. Again we get the select border so that we unselect the item slot inside the other storage. We want to set the brush color again to nothing, so everything to zero, like that. Then we set the move case up here to one and down here to zero. Call our key item change again, connect it, move this part back here 
and connect the key item change with the return node. Let's go back to our key bindings. We have the key bindings for the keyboard. Of course, we want to do this for the gamepad as well. So all we have to do is just copy and paste the equals here and connect the get key again. And now we can choose which key bindings we want for the gamepad. So I skip the process. As you can see, I choose the game face button top for closing the inventory and the left thumbstick up, left, down and right to navigate. All we have to do is unplug the branches again, choose an OR boolean, connect the booleans here. Great, let's see if this works. We hit play, go to this chest here, we can navigate with the keyboard, we can use tab to switch to the chest, we can switch back. Great. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.